good morning students today we are in the fourth day of our virtual class today we will discuss about the numerical problems related to fourth chapter okay this value of capital G universal gravitational constant is a constant value and so we can take it when we require here are some worked out examples find the gravitational force between the given two objects we have the two objects so go for solution the mass of one object 5 into 10 to the power 5 kg mass of another object 500 kg and the distance between them distance between them means distance is measured from center to center so it is diameter is shown here so we require distance from one center to another means radius and its sum of another radius so for that we have to divide diameter by 2 and the distance between them will be 25 meter the value of gravitational constant as you know after then we have to find gravitational force f between them now using formula we have the formula of gravitational force like this and if you put the value it will be like this and then writing the powers of 10 separately in 500 there is 5 into 10 to the power 2 so 5 in one place and 10 to the power 2 is added after then the result will be this and like this and writing it in scientific it becomes like this and finally like this and answer conclusion is like this but please keep it in mind that you are not allowed the scientific calculator directly to obtain the answer you must show the calculation and that's why it looks lengthy now moving to the next numerical calculate the force with which the moon pulls every kilogram water in our rivers if the moon is this much kilometer away from nepal and the mass of moon is this much so obviously there are two masses one is mass of moon that is and another is uh, mass of water so mass of object moon that is m1 7 into 10 power 22 kg mass of object that is water every kilogram so one kilogram distance between them 3.85 into 10 power 5 kilometer and distance should always be in meter so converting it into meter it becomes 3.85 into 10 to the power 8 meter we require capital G so put like this after then let's find the gravitational force between them using formula you have this formula previous formula and this same because we are going to find the gravitational force between two objects so we have a single formula after putting this value the expression is like this now separating the powers of 10 the remaining whole number uh, remaining numbers in the left side and powers of 10 at the right side after doing simple calculation it becomes like this and finally answer will be like this unit is very sincere so please don't forget to write the correct unit in the answer portion the third workout example the gravitational force between two objects is this much when they are at a distance of 5 meter find the gravitational force between them when they are at a distance of 2.5 meter there are two gravitational uh, sorry two distances and two times gravitational force are discussed it means this is question belonging to two cases so case one we have gravitational force 1600 newton let's suppose it has f1 and distance between them d1 that is 5 meter after then now using formula the gravitational force f1 gm by d1 square this is for case 1 after putting the value our expression will be gm 2 by this will be 4000 equation 1 let's assume 
Now for case two, gravitational force F2. We have to calculate distance is given 2.5 meter. Now using the formula for case two, that is F2, Gm and M2 by D2 square. Replacing the value the, from one, we'll get after calculation this much, and finally the result will be 6400 newton okay so please uh, try to understand this if you have any query you can ask in the live virtual class uh, be healthy and safe thank you